Despite our being in the middle of winter, many local farmers and food artisans are still hard at work producing delicious fare for us to enjoy. With a little creativity, they're still able to source their product locally, even during this non-growing season. In tonight's Grown Locally report, CESA Executive Director Phil Corman visits Real Pickles in Greenfield and Artifact Cider in Springfield, both businesses now in production and supporting the regional food system. Today we're going to visit two local businesses that source all of their ingredients from local family farms. Our first stop today is at Real Pickles in Greenfield, and that business started over 15 years ago in 2001. They've always had a very strong commitment of infusing their values into their day-to-day -day operations. They source from local family farms over about 40 miles from the plant, and they're producing products that we can enjoy on our tables throughout the season. Our business is called Real Pickles, uh, but many people think of pickles as just cucumber pickles. We think of pickles in the broader sense of pickled vegetables, so we make pickled cucumbers, pickled cabbage, a few different kinds of sauerkraut, green cabbage and red cabbage. We make a garlic kraut. Today, folks are in the kitchen chopping up beets and chopping up onions and uh, putting the beets through a Hobart slicer uh, to slice them up really thin so that they ferment really well. And then mixing the vegetables in with salt and spices and putting them into the barrel where they will ferment over the next several months. It's important for us to source our vegetables locally because um, the ingredients are fresher. Um, fresh ingredients works better for the natural fermentation process that we use. So for an equivalent size food producing business, uh, we tend to need a lot more space than, than a, a typical business of our size that might be buying vegetables from uh, anywhere in the world that they're available. Our second stop today is Artifact Cider. They buy apples directly from local orchards and transform the apples into hard cider that can be enjoyed every day of the year. Apple harvest takes place from late August until about early to mid-November around here. And that is the craziest time for us because we're out there starting to get an idea of what kind of apple we can get. When the harvest season is done, um, that's when we sit down and kind of start thinking about how, what products, what, you know, what cider we're going to make that year. Some ciders have to be made when the apples have just been picked. Um, cider, some ciders can have apples that have been sitting in storage for a little while. And in particular, cider apples, the traditional kind of heirloom ones, they are known to last longer in storage and sometimes improve, um, such as the Roxbury Russet. Um, it gets picked late in the season and then can last all the way until February. So that's actually what we have in these tanks right now. Cider is like wine, fundamentally, and when it comes down to it, the most important person that we work with is the orchardist. Um, you know, it's the work that they're doing uh, is what I'm trying to, you know, kind of distill the essence of in the ciders. So right now, uh, we have New World, which is our, our kind of signature dry um, cider. Then we have Wild Thing. Um, it's, a, it's a Macintosh heavy blend. And then we have Buzzworthy, which was a, a project from last year. It's culinary fruit, mainly. So golden, delicious, and that kind of thing. You know, we, we help other businesses to a certain extent. You know, orchards are going away uh, all the time. There used to be eight orchards where, where Pine Hill Orchards area is right now. And now there's one. Um, and you know, we, act, we really do believe that you know, we need more farms. We need more of, the, of bi the biodiversity that you get from the thousands of different apples that are out there. And instead of just having five that are available to you, if we can create demand for, for something that is old, the old ones that, that went away around Prohibition, then we can kind of bring that back, bring that culture back that doesn't exist here anymore. 